armed with the electrical engineering knowledge of the previous video and a TMP36 temperature sensor, we can set out and make what to me is like the hello world of the Internet of Things, a web-connected thermometer. And you'll find that in more detail on www.areresearch.net. Now, first of all, we have to put in the level converter that we had a closer look at last time. And of course, on the low voltage side, that thing needs a ground connection and the 3.3 volts. The same applies, of course, to our ESP1 module. Also a 3.3 volt connection, ground connection. And here are the transmit and receive data lines from the module that we'll just plug into our level converter. And of course, to make it all work, it takes a chip enable line of the ESP module. And of course, we need to provide a common ground as always. If we just plug that into the level converter's uh, high voltage ground pin, uh, that'll connect right through to the rest of the circuit. And here's the 5 volt lines that plugs into the 5 volt input of the level shifter. Now as we are running software serial, our serial uh, input and output lines on the Arduino are on digital 10 and 11. So these connect right to the high voltage side of the um, level shifter. The code for the web server uh, is taken from Ray's hobby website. He's using a slightly different circuit and also uses the web server for a slightly different purpose, but we could easily repurpose that and change things around a bit uh, so it uses software serial. It's a bit particular about the firmware that we need and I have downgraded to um, to the 9.2.2 firmware that you will uh, also find on my web page. So next thing we need is the TMP36 temperature sensor. And all that needs is 5 volts and a ground connection and the middle pin uh, is the temperature output and that will connect to analog in 3 on our Arduino. Now that uh, voltage level that we then get on the analog input, that needs a bit of conversion. And the example code for that can be found on, on the Adafruit website. Uh, so I just nicked the conversion algorithm from them and adapted that to, to my code. Uh, so, so merged it with the race code. So we get the uh, temperature values as an output of the web server. And if we turn it on, it initializes the, the Wi-Fi module and connects to your, um, your Wi-Fi network. Uh, when it's booting up, it'll also give you the uh, IP address that you'll want to connect to with your client device. And of course, it, uh, it gives you a debug output of the requests and replies that it uh, does with your client. So if we restart that, we can connect to the module. And there we go. If I heat up the sensor, we can see the temperature floating up because the HTML code's got a refresh tag in it. And that'll, of course, float down again if I let go. No, that wasn't hard at all, was it? Uh, all the parts and bits of pieces have been out on the internet. The code was there already. And all you have to do now is get off the sofa and make some cool things.